Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and today we're going to take a look at the Rio Toro Ghostwriter Prison RGB Mechanical Keyboard. Hi, so welcome back. Here we have today another Rio Toro product, and I'm getting uh, to quite like these Rio Toro products. I've got the CR500 case, as you can see behind me, and if my head's not in the way, you can probably just about see my Rio Toro. Aorus Prism RGB mouse, which is over there or over there somewhere. And to finish off the set, really, this was what was necessary. This is the Ghostwriter RGB Prism. Now, this is a mechanical keyboard from Rio Toro. Features Cherry MX Brown switches, so um, not an overly loud click, but certainly has got some resistance to it and it feels very nice to the touch. And it's got a very kind of not so much clicky, but quite a spring to it kind of thing I like. I've used some previous mechanical keyboards and I've also used the um, MEM mechanical keyboard such as the Cooler Master one which I'll uh, link to up here. But they don't really come close to the actual proper feeling of a Cherry MX switch. It's a really difficult thing to emulate. There are some other uh, switches on the market which are very similar and do feel the same but the Cherry MX brains for me are just perfection in a keystroke. So that's enough about me raving about the uh, Cherry MX Brown key switches. Let's talk more about this keyboard. So what do we get? First of all, it's a full-size keyboard. So you've got your number pad as well as all your normal keys, so 104 key layout. This one is in the UK style, but you can get them in the UK, US, etc. Again, I'll provide links in the description below so you can check them out for yourself. Price-wise, now these do fluctuate massively from place to place. Now on Amazon, they are actually quite expensive at the moment, but feel free to check out because every now and then you do pick up a bargain. Um, retailing in the UK on Amazon.co.uk uh, for about £130. Now I have seen them actually on offer from Amazon. The same keyboard, no difference whatsoever, not a refurbished one, brand spanking new in the box for less than £80. So there's a massive disparity between prices on Amazon.co.uk for this particular model of keyboard. Now there are actually two you can get. There's the Ghostwriter Black and there's the Ghostwriter Brown. This is the Brown which is uh, signified by the brown switches. The black one obviously has got the black switches, which have got a more um, linear feel to them. Cool features, obviously the RGB lighting, which is really good. You can program the RGB lighting from the keyboard, so using the function key and the arrows, etc., and also the delete key and insert key, you can go through and cycle the different patterns. I personally, I really like the raindrop effect looks really cool, but you can actually change it. There are macros and also profiles you can actually change. So if you want a specific lighting style for a particular program, um, which is something I've been trying to do, but I'm not getting very far. Unfortunately, the software that comes with these keyboards is still currently in beta, it's beta 1.1. So they're a little bit far off from their official production release. Uh, hopefully the software does improve because uh, the software at the moment is pretty awful and basically doesn't work particularly well. So you're better off actually using the keys to decide what keyboard illumination or brightness you want to use. Now speaking of which, in the scenes or the profiles you can set, um, it's quite nice actually you can set every program on your PC or certain programs on your PC to be a different color profile. So for instance, if, you're, uh, if you open up Edge or Chrome, you can set it so all the keys go bright white so you can see where you're typing. And obviously the same works for things like Microsoft Word or Excel, you could have it sort of highlight certain keys, which I think is a really nice thing to do. I've tried having a play of it, couldn't get it to work properly, um, but I think that's down to the beta nature of the software. So we'll have a look at that. If there is an update to the software, then I'll, I'll update the uh, description or I'll update some links so you can get the latest version of the software. Um, so that's the software, RGB side. Also got a detachable magnetic wrist rest, which is quite nice and there's rubber supports on the bottom to stop it sliding around your desk, so just get it right into position and it kind of snaps onto the base of the keyboard, which is nice. If you want to use rest rest, great. If you don't, take it off, leave it in the box, forget about it until you actually need it. Moving around onto the sides, we've got quite an angular design. Uh, we've got the Rio Toro logo. Moving around to the back, you've got two USB ports, which is nice, so you've got a USB pass-through, on the actual cable, the braided cable which the keyboard attaches with. At the end of it, there's two USB connections, one for the actual keyboard itself, and one which is the USB 2.0 pass-through. So dual ports on the back of the keyboard, so you can plug in things like what I've got here at the moment. I've got a USB stick, 
and also a charging cable um, for a vape or a uh, Xbox controller, that kind of thing. But it's a USB 2 controller, that's uh, a USB 2 hub. Just you decide what you want to put in there. It could be a wireless dongle, um, anything you choose. As long as it supports USB 2.0, then you'll be good to go. So that's pretty much most of the uh, things covered on this keyboard. There's not really a great deal I can kind of convey to you about this keyboard. Really, you need to try it for yourself. See if you like the way the feel of the switch is. Um, see if you like the brightness of the LEDs, the RGB. Now for me, the RGB on this is pretty much spot on with the, um, the other RGB keyboard I've got, the Cooler Master Master Keys. I find the RGB to be a little bit too much and in between each key, it kind of it blurred out the keys. So you couldn't actually see what the keys were because the light was shining through so brightly. This is more subtle. And again, you can control it anyway, make it even less subtle or even more subtle rather by adjusting the brightness uh, on the control pad or on any of the buttons. Now, speaking of the buttons, actually, one thing I have missed, which I'm gonna go back to now, is at the top of the keyboard, there is a really nice media control setup. So at the top here, you've got a, a roller to adjust the volume, which is really nice and it's got a really kind of notchy feel to it, so you can get your volume just right. Uh, you've got a mute button, fast forward, rewind, stop, play, pause. And those you can program to look to light up in a different color so they stand out from the rest. At the moment they're programmed to be blue, but you can choose to do them whichever color you want. And also you can program it so the keys all turn off. So there's no RGB illumination. So if you just want the uh, performance and the kind of the, the tactile feel of the Cherry MX Brown, then you get this keyboard and just turn off the RGB. And uh, this wouldn't look out of place in an office or in a gamer setup. So I will let you decide which you prefer it to be in. So this has been the Rio Toro Ghostwriter Prism RGB with brown switches. I've been Mike. This is Mike's unboxing reviews now too, and we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.